when you do that depth of recognition, it helps you to better prioritize needs. Mm. Needs needs can often be hidden. Yeah. And and what connects us is our commonalities of basic human needs. Mm. That's something that's been resonating with me the last year a lot, especially as our community has gone through not just structural changes, but, but physical changes as well. I think right. I mentioned that we moved into our new space and restoration plaza earlier this year in January. We started the first part of the school year off without a home. Wow. Uh, we were teaching outside and in public libraries and in recreation centers. And it was because we, we sold our building in order to, to make structural changes that were beneficial oh, wow. to our community, like raising staff salaries and providing stronger programming for our young people. And wow. we, we had put a contract on a building that fell through right before mm. the start of the school year because the physical space was not approved. The certificate of occupancy wasn't approved. And so mm. I watched this community stay connected with one another, even as a, as a, as a commu- school community, being without a home is tra- is, can be traumatizing. And I watched them pull together in order to prioritize needs deeply Mm. to care for one another so that we could stick together Mm. Mm -hmm. and this community did that it was amazing to watch i got to spend a few months at the tail end of their previous school year in their old building which was very unique to to watch how the verbal and the emotional structures continued Mm. without the physical structure right right (laughs) this year year transition but being present became not just a priority, but a necessity so Mm. that we could learn the deep needs where they were, where they weren't being met Mm -hmm. in order to, to, to prioritize and, and uplift them beyond Mm -hmm. Maslow's basic hierarchy of needs that can be recognized. (laughs) And that we try to point out to our students does connect us all. So when someone's screaming, no, I need the eraser with the pink top on it. I need that. (laughs) And it's like, no, okay, let's, there's 15 other pencils that are here. We need air, food, water, shelter, love, Mm -hmm. ability Mm -hmm. to lay waste. Do you need that pencil right now? Or since it's just to put your name on the paper, could we possibly give this pencil to someone else whose fingers are a little smaller Mm. and you use this pencil instead just for now? And then next week, we'll look at trying to get you another one of these pencils, or maybe you can ask this friend to trade. Mm. Mm. And Mm. it, it helps them go, I mean, okay, just for now. this is the agentic schools podcast where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills i'm your host don berg